This video is fifth lecture from mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. In this video, you will learn some of the prerequisites we will use within the course. These prerequisites consist of lists, users, groups that we will be using throughout the course. If you want to take full course, click on the link below and enroll for free mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. I hope to see you in SharePoint Journey School. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the prerequisites we need uh, within the course those are lists and libraries so if i go to the site and look at site contents we have a few lists that we will be using throughout the course so let's go to site contents and uh, one of the list is contacts this is using out of the box contacts content type and um, the other list is leave request so this is the uh, other list where we are using state machine workflow and also a lot of examples that we are going to use on top of this particular list so this is the form that looks like for the leave request list and if i go to the list settings from the ribbon i can see what are the various columns that has been created for this particular list now if i go back to the site contents there are a few more lists one of them is workflow tasks list which is out of the box task list where all the tasks that will be stored and the one more list is training details list that we are going to use for various workflow examples apart from the list what we have is users and groups so if i go to site settings and look at peoples and groups and if I click on more from the left hand side we can see we have different types of groups called HR, IT, managers, finance and employees so we have different types of users that are being added to these groups for example employees we have Steven Smith, Nick and if I go to managers we have Chris so whenever we have employee manager these are the users that we are going to use in most of the examples but if i go to hr uh, we have nick again when I go to finance we have a different user called frank if i go to it we have mark so if i come across these users these users belongs to different types of groups that we could associate whenever we are building different types of workflows especially during the approval process click link on right to watch next lesson from build workflows using sharepoint designer 2013 mini course or click link on the left to enroll full course for free on sharepoint journey school don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more videos from sharepoint journey school i hope you to see in sharepoint journey school thanks for watching